Today's video, we're going to teach you how to stop slants in Madden NFL 16. What's up, guys? My name is Cody. I like to make Madden 16 videos and post them on the internet. Today, we're going to be taking a look at something from uh, a question that came in, and uh, what I want to do is kind of use this as a springboard and an opportunity uh, to start some further discussion on questions and answers. Um, I've got a Facebook page now at facebook.com slash MaddenTip365. Uh, what I'd like you to do is go over there and follow me on Facebook. What you're going to be able to get when you go to Facebook, it's going to give us an opportunity to have more discussion um, and give me a nice opportunity to kind of connect with you guys, and hopefully you can ask me your questions and I can answer them and that will be uh, just so, so lovely for me to be able to do that um, and you know be able to do more stuff like this but we're talking slants today and uh, I just want to show you slants um, now first of all uh, we're just in just a random book here I don't I don't even know what book I think San Francisco um, but anyway uh, we're just gonna use uh, the formation I ran last year nickel 335 um, in the play uh, that you're gonna want to pick to stop slants is the play cover two man yep cover two man so this is a play now first of all we want to address the problem with slants the problem with slants is that if you have a big receiver like a des bryant he's gonna get that inside position and he's gonna be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage to the inside it's a little late read but he is able to beat them as you see he's able to roast them to the inside now a couple things that come to mind when first we're gonna start stopping this is we want to manually shade coverage um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit triangle X individual coverage and shade Des Bryant into the inside and shade Williams into the inside. Um, now that's what we're gonna do to stop the man cover. To, 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 that's our first step here. Let's see if that works. Um, what you're gonna see here is Williams is still able to get that inside position and still able to beat man coverage to the inside. Um, now what we're gonna try to do is maybe a different type of shade. So we'll try a couple things here and we'll try to see if this works. And what you're gonna see is again they're still getting that consistent coverage beater, uh, con consistent man coverage beater uh, to the inside. So what this means is we're going to have to get a little more creative in how we like to stop slants. Um, what I like to do this year is take Hayden here, and what you're going to see is we're going to put him on a spy. Um, now what, uh, what you're going to see happen is he's going to come underneath, and I get well I guess that wasn't really that good of an example. It didn't work the way I wanted to, but we've done this in years past. Um, if you take the safety or the corner and put him on spies, Watch what happens here. Let's we'll see if we can see how he's going to come kind of in the area. He didn't do a really good job of it there. Another thing you can try doing is taking a safety. If you put him on a hook zone, and then watch what happens. I'm going to hit triangle R1 to man align. You see this hook zone is going to lurk him to the middle of the field. Um, this is something that you can also try. And we'll try this. And we see he's in the vicinity to stop it, but he doesn't stop it at the end of the day. So now we're going to do it. We're going to kind of conclude here is we need to do a combination of man and zone coverage. Um, so what we're going to try to do first is take Allen, put him on a hook zone, and then hit that triangle R1 so that he goes to the middle of the field. And now let's see what, what we get here. So I see he's in the middle of the field where we're going to throw it, and you see he now is going to make the play. So what we would recommend is a combination of man and zone coverage to stop slants this year. Uh, and what you want to do is in the co play cover to man, take your safety. And what you want to do is you want to hit uh, triangle R1. What's going to do is it's going to bring him into the middle of the field. The other thing I like to do if you really want to stop slants is take the other safety and put him in a quarterback spy. This is going to get instant coverage and light coverage. Here you're going to see I can't throw the slant rat to the instant um, on the right side because that's, that spy is going to come down. And of course... We were able to complete it for some reason. But um, we'll show you again here. Oh, and then also, you all, I would also recommend shading coverage to the inside um, just, to, just to really sure up the inside here. It's going to take him longer to get off that bump, and then you're going to see he's going to have a pretty tight window uh, to complete this ball into another thing that you can do with this and this is like I said this is going a little farther normally what I would just say is just user it um, but um, you know I know some people don't like to use your the middle of the field so we're trying to show you here what you're gonna see is we're able to we're able to really sure up that middle coverage uh, by using by using the uh, whoops I called hike on accident but by using the uh, <clears throat> the hook zone and the spy. Like I said, take one safety, put him in a spy, take the other safety, put him in a, in a hook zone, man align, and then base align again. What you're going to see is it's going to lurk that hook zone to the middle of the field, and he's going to come underneath it, as you see there. So that's a that's one way to do it. Uh, that's a man version. Now let's show you a zone version. So if you want to play zone, 
I would recommend the cover two. The cover two is going to give you the most hook zones. And then um, for the three through five, what I would do is take this guy, McGill, man him up on the outside guy, Williams here, and then take Tuck, man him up on Bryant. <coughs> Excuse me. And then what I would do then is um, take this defensive tackle, Williams, drop him into a quarterback spy or a hook zone. And now you're going to see this is really going to sure up that middle coverage. There's really nowhere to throw that slant route. Now we can throw the slant early to Dez on this play, and I want to show you that. I want to show you what happens when we can throw it early. So we try to throw it early, and you see we can kind of fit it in a little bit. So there's one other thing that I would recommend doing uh, to, to really sure this up and make this pretty much slant proof. If they try to throw slants, they're going to get in trouble. I'll take Tuck, put him into a hook zone, take Smith, and throw him into a flat so that he's going to flow to the outside, and then man up carry on Bryant. Now you're going to see we have instant coverage on Bryant, instant coverage on Williams, and also delay coverage. And uh, we're really going to sure up the middle of the field. This will also do. This defense will also do a good job for anything over the middle of the field. I would recommend, um, you know, trying this out for anything over the middle of the field. But anyways, guys, that's what we've got uh, as far as stopping slants. Those are a couple of ways you can do it. There's obviously more. I didn't cover everything. I didn't give an exhaustive list on how to stop slant routes. But what I did do is I tried to teach you how to use plays you already have in your arsenal, and then hot routing off of those. Uh, to be able to stop slants. I gave you a couple different concepts. I feel like that was really pretty good. So, anyways, guys, that's what we've got. Um, if you guys would do me a big favor, if you guys um, would just go over to... Um, if you guys would do me a favor and go over to uh, facebook.com slash maddentips365. The link will be in the description. You can check that out. Um, if you would do me a favor, go over there and follow me. Um, what you're going to see is it's going to give you a nice, cleaner uh, area where you can find all of my content. You can find my videos, you can find my guides, you can find, uh, and you can also post and ask questions. Um, so if you just go over there, like my Facebook page, uh, and then you can comment on my post so we can engage that way. I'd really appreciate it. Um, but anyways, guys, that's what I've got so far uh, as far as stopping slants and a couple of updates as well. Uh, got I'm working on another guide. I got some pretty good reviews on the first guide. I'm trying to get another one out. Uh, we're going to be talking about the 46 playbook and why I believe it's one of the better ones as well this season. So, But that's how to stop slants in Madden NFL 16. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like this video, I don't want you to leave a like rating. What I want you to do is go over to my Facebook page, MaddenTips365, and like it for me. Thank you so much for your time. I really, really appreciate it. Again, this channel is all about doing what we can to help you get better. Um, and so I'm constantly trying to figure out ways to